Hello guys, welcome to another lesson for our QuickBook tutorial series. So in this lesson, I uh, will teach you how to set up QuickBooks manual payroll. If you are new to this channel, please click the subscribe button and notification bell to get updated on our MS Excel and QuickBooks tutorial series. Okay, so QuickBooks has a feature in their desktop version to uh, process a uh, payroll manually. Uh, in US, uh, compensation income tax rates are frequently changing. So that is why um, the user needs to enroll if you want an auto automatic payroll system. You need to enroll the payroll service plan online for additional charges. So however, uh, if you don't want to subscribe, you can calculate uh, your payroll manually using the payroll desktop. Okay, so the or the QuickBook desktop. Okay, so the payroll process begins with hiring the personnel up to paying um, employee salary. So the hiring is processed by the human resource, and the payroll is processed by the accounting department. So before you can use the payroll sys uh, service manually in your uh, QuickBooks desktop version, you need to activate the manual payroll uh, service. Okay, to activate the manual payroll service, uh, you need to uh, disconnect first your internet uh, connection. Then after that, uh, click help. Then Click QuickBooks uh, Desktop Help. Okay. Then in the text box, type process payroll manually. Okay. Then click search. After that, uh, find the payroll or process payroll manually this one so click this one then another window will appear so find the manual payroll calculation this one uh, it's color blue okay click this one Okay, then click set my company file to use manual calculation. Okay, then close this one. Then this will appear. The dialog box. A manual payroll has been activated. You must now calculate and enter your paycheck amount manually. Then click OK. Okay, so go to edit. Then preferences. Then click payroll and employees. Then click the company preferences. Then select full payroll. Then click OK. Okay, then click OK. Then go to home page. Then click employees at the menu. Then click employee center. Okay, so the employee center uh, is the place where you can manage your employees' information, including their payroll, just like the other center, just like vendor centers and customer uh, center. Okay, so to set up your company's payroll, uh, you must have the company information and the employee information and the payroll item information. So among the three, the employee information and the payroll item are missing for now because uh, you, are, you already set up your company um, information. Okay, so to add an employee, 
you must set up first your uh, payroll items. To add or edit a payroll item, uh, go to employees, then click manage payroll items, then click view edit payroll item list. Okay, so the payroll item affect the amount of the paycheck. So it is also used to track individual amount um, written in employees paycheck. Okay, such as the compensation, uh, deduction, addition, and taxes. Okay, so the list was filled with default items like federal taxes. So to add a payroll item, uh, click payroll item. Then, click New. Then, select Easy Setup. Then, click Next. These are the payroll items of the type that you can use. The compensation, uh, the benefits, insurance, benefits, okay, the paid time off, and other additions and other uh, deductions. So select next. Okay. Then first select salary, hourly wages, and overtime. Okay. Let us unselect bonus award and one time compensation. Then click next. Then click finish. Okay. Let's uh, maximize the window. As you observe, there are four additional payroll items were added, particularly uh, compensation items. So next you will do is to edit the salary. Double click the salary. Okay. So rename the salary to regular pay. Okay. Regular pay. Then click next. Then enter or select an expense account. Okay, okay, so select payroll expenses or if there uh, is salary expenses, so select salary expense. So this time we will select the payroll expenses. Then click finish. Okay, so we have already added uh, the compensation item. So the next item we will add is the deductions. So uh, deductions uh, will be deducted from compensation uh, of the employee to arrive at their pay. Okay, so to add deduction item, first you need to uh, set up a vendor just like the social security system. So add a vendor. Okay, so go to vendor center. Then add a vendor new vendor okay let us create a vendor name social security system okay then click ok we will just add the information additional information later okay so click ok then go back to the item or payroll item. Then click new, a payroll item, then new. Okay, so easy setup. Next. Then uh, select custom setup this one okay then next then select deduction 
this one. Okay, then next. Then enter the name for deduction. Uh, let's enter SSS or the Social Security System. Then click next. Then in the agency field, select the Social Security System. Okay, so enter the number, any number, for example, 99123456767. Okay, then the liability account select SSS payable. First, none we will add SSS payable account. Okay, add new. SSS payable. Okay, then click save and close. Then click next. Okay. Click next. Then click uh, finish or next. Okay. So select whether to calculate on gross pay. Okay, so click finish. Okay, here is your SSS item. So let us sub only one compensation and one deduction in our um, example in this video okay so the next thing we will do is to uh, add an employee okay so to add an employee go to employee center okay so add new employee okay so let's add example Paul Okay. Then let's um, enter his uh, his social security number. For example, eight eight one two three four five six seven. Okay. Then gender male. Okay. Then the date of birth. Select any, for example, or you can type directly zero five zero five nineteen eighty five. Okay, then single. Okay, so you can also enter the address here. Okay. Then click payroll and info. Okay, so in the payroll uh, schedule field, click the arrow and select add this one, add new. Okay, so what do you want to name this payroll? Uh, type monthly. Okay, so select monthly here. Okay, so what is the pay period? For example, at the end of the month here. This one. So any month, the end of the month. Okay. Then what date should appear in the paycheck? The same as above. Okay, so what is your date here? It should be your date here. Okay, so what day should appear in the paycheck? Is that the last day of the month? This one. Okay, then click OK. 
Okay, so you have the, your payroll schedule. Okay, so the earning um, portion, click the item you want. Okay, first select the regular pay. Then type the hourly or annual rate. So let us example annual rate. Let's add the annual rate. Okay, so 180. Then the deduction is SSS. Okay, so amount. For example, 800. Okay, so negative 800. Then the limit is, for example, if there is a limit in the in the uh, social security uh, deduction, so negative 1,000. So since we have 180 annual rate, so the monthly salary is uh, 15,000. So 180 divided by um, 12. Okay. Okay, then click OK. Okay, leave. Then click leave as is. So the final step in the payroll process is to pay the employee. Okay, so to pay the employee, click employee icon. Okay, so let us go to home page. Okay, so click employee icon here. Okay, then select all heal. Okay. Okay, so pay period is okay, August 31. Bank account. Pay cash in. Select bank checking. Okay. Okay, so select all heal here. Then um, click continue. Okay, so this is his the summary of his um, salary. Okay, the gross pay is 15,000. Then the deduction is 800. Then the net pay is 14,200. Okay, then create, click create. Paycheck. Okay. Okay, you can also print the paycheck. Okay. Or print pay stub. Okay. Let us not print paycheck. Okay. So let us close this window. Okay. So let us go to your uh, chart of accounts. Okay. The SSS payable here is 800. Okay. And report. Profit and loss. Okay. Okay, here's your um, payroll expense. 15. Okay, so that's all for now and I hope um, you learned something about how to set up um, QuickBooks Manual Pedal. And don't forget to subscribe and click the notification bell uh, to get updated on our uh, next, next uh, tutorial videos. Have a good day!